This week, the Tarleton Libraries and libraries across the world are celebrating Banned Books Week. This annual event spotlights the current and historical attempts to remove books from libraries and schools across the world. A challenge is the attempt to remove or restrict access to materials based on the objections of an individual or group. Banning an item is when the item in question is actually removed from the collection. According to the Office for Intellectual Freedom, there were 377 attempts to remove materials from libraries, schools, and universities in 2019. During this year's Banned Books Week, Tarleton Libraries has created three video compilations of Tarleton students, faculty, and staff reading from banned or challenged books. This is Part 3. Hi, I'm Carl Ajo, and today I'm reading a passage from the Zhuangzi, a text that's been banned in China and other countries for its religious and philosophical ideas. Hui Zhu said to Zhuangzi, I have a big tree called a shoe. Its trunk is too gnarled and bumpy to apply a measuring line to. Its branch is too bent and twisty to match up to a compass or square. Your words, too, are big and useless, and so everyone alike spurns them. Zhuangzi said, Maybe you've never seen a wild cat or a weasel. It crouches down and hides, watching for something to come along. It leaps and races east and west, not hesitating to go high or low, until it falls into the trap and dies in the net. Then again, there's the yak, big as a cloud covering the sky. It certainly knows how to be big, although it doesn't know how to catch rats. Now you have this big tree, and you're distressed because it's useless. Why don't you plant it in a village or a field? Relax and do nothing by its side, or lie down for a free and easy sleep under it. Axes will never shorten its life. Nothing can ever harm it. If there's no use for it, how can it come to grief or pain? So today I'll be reading an excerpt from Of Mice and Men, which was banned because of racism, vulgarity, and its display of its treatment of women in the book. So, Lenny avoided the bait. He had sensed his advantage. If you don't want me, you only just gotta say so. And I'll go off in those hills right there, right up in those hills and live by myself. And I won't go get no mice stole from me. George said, I want you to stay with me, Lenny. Jesus Christ, somebody would shoot you for a coyote if you was by yourself. No, you stay with me. Your Aunt Clara wouldn't like you running off by yourself, even if she is dead. Lenny spoke craftily. Tell me, like you done before. Tell you what? About the rabbits. George snapped. You ain't gonna put nothing over on me. Lenny pleaded. Come on, George. Tell me, please, George, like you done before. You get a kick out of that, don't you? All right, I'll tell you. And then we'll eat our supper. Hello. I'll be reading um, Speak by Lori Howells Anderson. Um, and the book was challenged or banned because of its glorification of drinking, cursing, and premarital sex. If my life were a TV show, what would it be? If it were an after school special, I would speak in front of an auditorium of my peers on how not to lose your virginity, or why seniors should be locked up, or my summer vacation, a drunken party, lies, and rape. Was I raped? The Color Purple by Always Naked was a book that was banned who, uh, for showing explicit language and violence. A paragrapher really likes in the book, um, which says, Dear God, he beat me today because he said I went to a boy in church. I may have gotten something in my eye, but I didn't think. I don't even look at men. That's the truth. I look at the women, though, because I'm not scared of them. I will be reading Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare. It was banned because of cross-dressing and the fake same-sex romantic relationship portrayed in it. Methinks his words do from such passion fly that he believes himself, so do not I. Prove true imagination, O oh, prove true, that I, dear brother, be now taken for you. The story is pictured by Mark Strix 
send it. The book was banned by adults found it problematic that Max was punished for being sent to bed without dinner, and there were also breaks that the book was supernatural themed. His mother called him wild thing, and Max said he will eat you up, and he was sent to bed without him eating anything. And that very night in Max's room, his forest grew. Um, and grew. <laughs> and he was happy. And grew until the ceiling hung with vines and wolves became the world all around. The American Library Association has some excellent resources if you're interested in learning more about banned or challenged books. Visit http colon slash slash ala.org slash advocacy slash bbooks to learn more.